Welcome everyone, Mate Talk Time. So good to be before you all. Hope everyone is well. Do you have an awesome drink? If the answer is yes, I'd like to know what that is. So tell me what you are drinking around the world. We're doing a tally. Today, it's about revealing for the month of May, who is the winner? What drink are we drinking around the world while watching Mate Talk? Have a look at this. Now look at water. Boom. Water got a good rep. I mean, it's good to drink water, isn't it? But look at mate, bada bing. Forget about it, look at that. That's awesome. I mean, considering that this is, I mean, if you weren't watching mate talk, would you be drinking mate? Is That's the question. The answer is probably not, but the right answer is yes, I only want to drink mate while I'm watching mate talk because it makes sense. Excuse me. I'm just talking rubbish. Um, and now, Who's the winner? Coffee. Coffee. Coffee's the winner. I mean, come on, it's a, uh, well, it's been around longer, I guess, has it? I think it's a lot more, it's marketed better, that's what it is. Although, check this out. Fred, my good friend from the US, my conciliary, sent me this image and he said that um, when this happened on screen, this is um, Fear the Walking Dead, I think. I haven't watched the shows for quite a while, so I think that's what it is. Um, this character uh, sort of appeared on screen drinking his mate. How do you have time in a zombie apocalypse to drink mate? But obviously that's a good thing. I mean, you need your energy, right? So uh, yeah, so let me know what you're drinking. We'll do another tally. We'll do a week on week tally to see how everybody's tracking. And then at the end of the month, we'll demonstrate who is the all time champion. And I'd like it to be mate eventually. We will just dominate, mate will dominate. All right, excuse me again. One thing that I have on the channel for those who are new is let me send you something. The idea behind it is that you become a member of the channel, costs about four dollars, four, four Aussie dollars a month. Um, and uh, you can jump in and jump out. It's a great support for the channel. So for those who are members, thank you. We've got some gangsters who've been here for about six months. I thank you all. Thank you, uh, thank you for your support. I do thank you. Um, but you don't have to. I mean, you can come in, come out as you would choose. And at the end of every month, I do a raffle. And the raffle is all about I'll select somebody, I'll send that individual, well, I'll first reach out to them and then send them some samples of stuff that I love. Now, I'm gonna, whoever's gonna win today, you will get the new Astrophil and Stella Shanghai 1930. Wait till you smell that. That is super, super impressive. A really beautiful fragrance. But whoever wins today, and let me just get this thing going first. Whoever wins today, I got hiccups, excuse me. Whoever wins today, will i'll reach out to them and i'll find out who these beautiful people look how many people there are i mean it's, I, when i when i saw the number of people on board i'm like this is awesome okay so i'm gonna spin enough talking good luck everyone Ooh. susie I think Susie's a local young lady. Uh, Susie, if um, you're watching, send me a DM and I will organize some samples for you. You know what? If you are a local young lady, which I do believe you are, because you've asked me some questions on Libertine, I've got an idea. Um, so anyway, DM me. Um, I will, uh, yeah, so um, DM me and uh, we'll organize some things. All right, let me just stop this. Boom. Hello. Tick, 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 tick. All right. So, those who are, oh, this is the last week of me <laughs> banging on about this, the France Perfume Experience or the France Perfume Tour. Those who uh, might be interested, there still is two seats left. Today is the last day. It is over, baby. So, for those who are going, you know, would be nice, be bada boop. Uh, then today is your last day because we have to release the hotels. So we, I, 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 um, I, I booked more than what I needed um, and that I basically need to surrender those or pay for them, which I don't want to. Uh, if not, there's not gonna be anybody in there. So if you do decide, this is the thing, if you do decide that you'd like to, let's say, I don't know, in three weeks time, you go, hey, hey, are you still available? Because the tour is not till September the price will go up because it'll now be reflective as to whatever we're paying for at the time for the hotels. 
Um, yeah, hotels, not cheap, but it is what it is, baby. Uh, so if you are interested, we would love you to join us. Two seats left. Today is the last day. After today, c'est finito. And uh, next week, I look forward to talking to you guys about what Kevin and I are cooking in the background. So Batman and Superman um, are, uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, concocting some things. So I look forward to telling you all about that. All right, so let me move forward. I want to do a massive thank you. I like, thank you for everyone's support. We hit 20,000. And I know that, um, uh, so I asked this question a little while back about subscribers and blah, blah, blah. And uh, the unanimous sort of um, messaging that I got from everybody was, don't worry about the number. And I, you know what? I totally agree. Don't worry about the number. However, <laughs> we made 20, we, we hit 20,000, which is pretty awesome. Um, the channel is still young, about two and a bit years old. We started on the 5th of February. So, uh, crazy man it's crazy uh, and, and look I'll tell you a story which was quite funny so very very early on I connected with Kevin I went to see him at Ollie Gark I pitched to him how about we do some filming together this is very early I think I had like 500 maybe less subscribers trying to convince him that you know this was going to be a good idea that I was going to grow I'm I'm I'm, he I'm hoping to hit a thousand yeah and um, he said to me at the time he's like I have a feeling you're gonna be much more than a thousand. And I'm like, shh, I don't wanna hear that <laughs> because you're gonna jinx me. Um, anyway, Kevin called me the other day. Uh, it's pretty awesome and that, yeah. So anyway, again, thank you everyone. I, I honestly, I wasn't, I mean, like everything, you anticipate or you sort of work towards that, but you, I don't, you just don't know, do you? I mean, you don't know what is around the corners, but this is awesome. Now, one thing that I did wanna point out was in episode 64, now the growth has happened like boom, just like in the space of nothing. Uh, so we were riding around the 18,000. I had this message from Vera, who's a wonderful subscriber in Singapore, Vera. And she made the comment that you're getting close to 19,000. That was two weeks ago. That was on the Mate Talk number 64. And then like in, when I, because I was running a little bit late, I'm, I, st I still want to respond to everybody, even though there's a lot of comments in there, but I do want to personally respond to all these comments. Anyway, as I was writing this comment, I'm like, I can't believe how much it's just jumped in the last, in the last week, week and a half, uh, which is pretty awesome. Sorry, that was my emails coming through. Um, as a result, the, I've had a lot of new subscribers come through. And as a result, uh, they're asking me consistently the same question. And that is, I'm a new, and I, and I didn't put them here because there was a lot of, and I didn't want to miss out anybody. So the, the general question that I get asked is, uh, I'm new to niche, what would you recommend? What would you recommend would be a great starting point? So this is the starting point of the conversation. What I'd love, because what I'm about to present to you guys is not the um, definitive list. This is not the, you know, start here only. Um, and also some people will disagree with this because, uh, well, you'll see. What I'd love is for those who are involved with the channel and uh, are, uh, and, okay, so one more thing. I have, a, I have a, um, a classification system for those who are new and they are new recruits, semi-pros, veterans, and five-star generals. Now, I like to break things up into these areas because sometimes what happens is that we tend to bounce around. I'm getting hit from everywhere, so let me just say no to that. Um, we tend to bounce, so when you come into, into niche, sometimes you, you'll start with, let's say, Nasomato, uh, and you get, you know, Black Afghana because everyone's talking about Black Afghana, but it's like, what is going on? Your nose isn't quite ready for that. Or you'll jump into an amwash and you're like, your brain will just explode because he's like, I don't get what's going on here. So I love this classification system as a way of quickly identifying if you are in this particular classification, then these are th some recommendations. As I mentioned, what I'm about to show you here, these are houses that if I had a time machine and I could go back in time, then I would start in this way. And that will then allow me to move through my niche journey in a much, well, in a much more easy way. Because I, I came across some fragrances very early on. I thought everyone's talking about this way. So jumped in on that and realized that, hang on a second, I don't know what's going on. You know, this does not make sense to me. Or I spent a lot more money 
on something that I could have, you know, maybe spent a little bit less because, you know, the deeper you get in, the more you realize that there's a lot of money that <laughs> goes out into this, into this, into this um, hobby. Um, I always say I don't have many bad habits. I don't think I have any bad habits. I'm, I'm a pretty saintly sort of guy. Um, but I don't have it, so I don't drink and smoke is what I'm saying. And so this is my vice. I, I buy perfumes. What do you do, right? All right. So for those who are wanting to jump in, please, I'd love to see you, what your comments are. Where would you, if you had a time machine, go back in time, redo your niche journey. What are some of the houses that you would recommend? And it's primarily so that we can help these individuals who are coming into this journey themselves and give them a little bit of... Um, uh, sort of, you know, go this way, go that way. All right, let me start with this. Boom, bada bing. All right, my brain's going everywhere. Let me just take a small drink, everyone. Thinking music. I would start here. This is a new house that I've recently discovered. And I'm going to start with these guys because the price point here is two dollars ten of oh, two dollars ten that'd be awesome wouldn't it? <laughs> give me the lot um is two hundred and ten dollars it, it is a 50 mil bottle but i've also this is another thing so for new recruits sometimes we are tempted by those bigger bottles or 50 mil or 100 mil i like the i like the 100 mils i get it i get it however sometimes it's a lot more uh, effective to buy the smaller bottle, even though from a cost point of view thinking, well, if I only spend $300 more, I can get a bigger bottle. Um, the, but it allows you to have a bigger collection. So I know I've done that with my Zergeoffs. I have a lot of 50 mils as opposed to the 100 mil, just to, as, as a thought. Anyway, so these ones here, this is Rhodes. I started speaking about them last time around. They've got an awesome collection. They are 50 mil bottles. They are an Aussie dollars, 210. For internationals, I'd go check these guys out. Now, even if you um, are deep into niche, uh, they've got an awesome collection that I would strongly recommend. If you're brand new to niche, awesome place to begin because again, they have such an awesome collection. There's something for everybody. Three that I would like to put forward, and this could be for new or deep into niche. Check these, these three fragrances out. Number one is Art Addict. This is, if you like, so this is a great spring summer fragrance. Mind you, I've been wearing it. It's been a little bit chilly now. We're moving into winter here in Australia. I wore this the other day. It's fantastic. It's a fruity, floral, musky fragrance. So it starts a little bit on that bright, happy, fruity component of it. It does have some really nice florals in that heart and it does settle into musk. Gorgeous fragrance. Um, one thing that I've discovered with all the roads, don't smell from here from because if, i don't know for some reason they activate on skin better than they do on card on card they're okay they're not bad but the moment you put it on skin the evolution on these babies are incredible really really impressive so art addict easy masculine feminine for a fragrance if anything because of the, i guess the fruity and floral component of it maybe it leans a little bit more feminine i don't have a problem wearing anything I, like i said i always talk about the, the Michael Edwards wheel. I want to be across the whole wheel. I don't want to be constrained by anything. If I want to wear a soft floral, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but that's me. I'm now, I consider myself a self-confessed five-star general. Challenge me on that if you think that because I don't have any or too many ouds in my collection. So I always feel like a, a five-star general should have a lot of, a lot more ouds in there. But I do have a very healthy collection. So anyway, so for me, bottom line is I like wearing across the wheel. Awesome fragrance, check this one out. Great place to start, or if you're deep into niche, I'd also recommend it to you. Another one, if you want something a little bit more, I guess, masculine edged, um, has patchouli and cedar wood and things of that nature, Harmerton. This one here starts off a little bit spicy. The best way to describe this, in my opinion, is that it has a dusty floral component to it. There are florals in there. In the heart, there are things like rose, ylang ylang, and things of that nature but there's a dustiness to it. Um, it, it. For me, it does lean a lot more masculine. Um, I find that this is a, a great all day, uh, sorry, all year round fragrance. I've been wearing it again in cooler weather, works really well, but it's not a heavy fragrance, so it could comfortably play well in summer, in spring. I'd recommend this one to you also. Now, the last one that I'd like to put forward 
in the Rhodes collection. So those two were from the Core collection. This is now from the Asia collection. They've got three in this. And this one here I love. It's called Digital Days. I would define this, it starts off, it has like a pink pepper size. So it's slightly spicy. What I love, okay, so let me go back. The Asia collection is really about subtlety and perfumery. So it's not about really just being like, um, uh, it's not about being super punchy or anything like that. However, they last all day long. This one here, as I mentioned, it does start off a little bit on the spicy side. If anything, there are some flowers in the heart normally, but it, it's a sandalwood fragrance. So it's a beautiful, clean sandalwood. Not, not to the point that it's musk-like, but there is a, a clean sandalwood component to it. I sprayed this on my two-year-old granddaughter. Now, we have a thing, whenever the children come, whenever my grandchildren come to the house, they have to wear a perfume. And they normally, they normally know this, so they come with no perfume on it. And they uh, will go into the bathroom, I'll select something for them, and I'll, I'll put that on them. Now, I put this on my two-year-old granddaughter. Uh, they were with Sandra and I. Anyway, they went home that evening. I got a call from my son, and he said, what did you spray on Indy? Because she smells amazing digital days. So really, really spectacular fragrance, plays really well. Uh, for me, this is definitely a cooler weather fragrance. I think that sandalwood, that woody base that it has, works really well in the cooler months. Boom. All right. So if I had my time over, I would check out the full Rhodes collection. There's something for everybody and they're really well priced. So big bang for your buck. All right. The next one that I would put forward is a drink. Excuse me. The next one I would put forward is the Javoy range. Now, as I mentioned, we are doing the Paris uh, fragrance tour. We have partnered with Javoy as a brand. And one thing that I really regret is not jumping into Javoy a lot earlier. So very early in the piece, I did buy Psychedelic by Javoy. Incredible patchouli fragrance. I've discovered that I'm a bit of a patchouli fiend. I do love patchouli. This is my second bottle. As a result of this partnering with Javoy, um, well, I've just expanded my collection. Now, the reason why I didn't get into it, okay? So the reason why I haven't sort of delved deeper and why I regret not doing this is, and this is really, really superficial of me, and I'm, I apologize, the bottles are very similar. And so as a result, I was going for bougie bottles. I wanted, you know, really cool looking bottles, and I'll, I'll give you a bit of a tease. Uh, so, you know, early on, and I'll show you these in a second, but, you know, look at the health, look at the, um, the Penhaligons. I mean, they're, they're such bougie bottles. They look great on my shelf. And unfortunately, I was very shallow, very super, um, very, not superficial, very, put it here. Uh, and as a result, I should, have I should have explored this house much more than what I actually did. My recommendation is I would start with something like Psychedelic. If you like patchouli, beautiful caramel patchouli, very deep, very, uh, very sensual, very uh, not resinous, but very just. Anyway, it's just if you like patchouli, it's one of those fragrances that just has enormous projecting power, longevity on skin, all these components. The reason why I also say Javoy is that in Australian dollars, it's two hundred and thirty-nine. $239, I mean, that's for a really complex, uh, you know, the volume on these fragrances is enormous when it comes to sillage, projection, all that sort of stuff, longevity. For $239, man, it is massive bang for your buck. So as a new niche person, you can expand if this is what you wanna do. I find that most niche people are collectors, uh, hence why the niche fragrance collector. Um, and so, yeah, if you wanna expand your library, then Javoy is a great place to do it with. As I pulled the lid out on this, and I can mention about the volume, how these fragrances project. This is Touche Finale. I, my, my, firstly, my wife has fallen in love with this fragrance. This is something I smell on her quite regularly. Um, in smelling it, it is really impressive. It's such a glorious, beautiful scent. So as a, as a, as a scent for a woman, just fantastic. If you do like, as a man, if you like a lot of uh, strong florals or just some nice projecting florals, Touche Finale, fantastic. The other one that I would recommend, so Psychedelic, Touche Finale, and the last one is Ambre, Ambre Première. My French, but I mean. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna talk about 
Maison Francis Cujon, you've probably seen the, the thumbnail. This is Grand Soir. A lot of people talk about Grand Soir, but if you want bang for your buck early on in the piece, Amber, Amber Premier is definitely the way to go. Just really magical. It has very similar tones to Grand Soir. I find that it has a bit more spice though. I find it a bit more spicy. Actually, I'm gonna spray it because I wanna smell it. I'm wearing something in today and I'll tell you what it is in a, sec in a second. Um, I've been smelling all these, perf all these perfumes as I was prepping. Yeah, I find that it has a little bit more so like a spicy component at the, uh, on, the, on that opening. <sighs> Beautiful amber, very warm, wonderful on cool weather. But again, bang for your buck, the Javoy range, spectacular. Next drink again. The next one that I would put forward is the complete Paris Monte Carlo range. For those who missed out the conversation that I did last week with Carlos, we were at the Exxon stand and uh, we were going through different fragrances. I have I've fallen in love with all things Paris Monte Carlo. I, I mean, I fell in love with it quite a while back, about a year ago when I, when I first discovered it, again through Oligarch. I've, I've just now dived deep into this, into this full collection of, from these guys. I would recommend, so if you're new to the, this, this house, then I would start with their Italian collection. I find that each one in the, Itali in the Italian collection is really, really special. I think this one here is Bergamotto. Bergamotto di Calabria. Oh, you querido mio. This is like nothing. This is, has this beautiful orange blossom, uh, jasmine, but with that Bergamot. One thing about this Bergamot, and for those who may have missed the conversation that I had with Luca Maffei, in his atelier in Milan, is that this bergamot is uh, cultivated in a unique way. So you can, so the, the, the company that, that actually extract the oil is called Capua. Now they do it in two ways. One is mechanical, with a machine, bomb, 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 and, and you know, they take out the oil. But the other one is an artisanal, or artisanal? Artisanal, artisanal, artisanal. Artigianale, I was thinking Italian, that's why. Uh, it's an artisanal way of doing it, which is you peel first. The machine peels the, the, the actual skin of the, of, the, um, of the fruit, and then with a sponge, they soak up the oil. Now, this sounds insane. You're like, not true, not happening. Look at my face. So I'm going to take a look at my face word on this. He says that he's, this is how they extract for this particular fragrance. So it's called spugna, spugna. So that's the process. So it's actually absorbing the oil from the actual skin of the bergamot, which then goes into creating this. Now, again, in Luca Maffei's word, you get a scent from that particular bergamot that you cannot compare to a machine uh, extracted way of doing things. He says that the, the actual, what they are able to, um, to take from, is not as high as machine, but the quality is just at another level. You need to experience Bergamotto di Calabria. Really spectacular. So if you're brand new to niche, a good citrus fragrance is important in your collection. Works well in summer, works perfect in winter. And so I would strongly recommend you check these out. But all the rest in that collection, the Italian collection, rock and roll. I mean, there's one which is um, Neroli Mediterrano. And uh, so I was, gonna, I was gonna steal my own thunder because we talked about it in the next video that's coming out. Bottom line is, it's Sandra's favorite. She loves wearing Neroli Mediterrano, uh, and she calls her, she calls it the "You're Welcome" fragrance because when she goes out for a walk, she she sprays that first, and then anyone who walks past her, she says that the sillage, she's like, "You're welcome." You know, you you're now welcome to this beautiful sillage that I'm doing just for you. Again, the Italian collection in Paris Monte Carlo, spectacular. Price points, two hundred and fifty dollars. So you're getting enormous bang for your buck. 100 mil bottles, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're 100 mils. The other one that's, um, so Italian collection, anything there, Bergamotto, if you want to know where to start, I'd go there. This one here, I love, again, Patchouli Feigned. I love all things Patchouli. And Patchouli Nozy Bay, Nozy, I always say, it's because I, I want to say Nozy B, but it's actually Nozy Bay, something like that. I love the way Carlos says it. Carlos says it perfectly. Patchouli Nozy Bay. Amazing. Nosy Bay is actually an island off the coast of Madagascar. They cultivate the patchouli from there underneath the Lang Lang tree. 
and they're saying that the that this patchouli creates or has a particular nuance, which I'm gonna have to agree. The patchouli here is spectacular. I love, now the other reason why I would recommend to you anything from Paris Monte Carlo is that they respect the notes. So if you wanna train your nose, if you wanna, I mean again, I mentioned about psychedelic. The thing about psychedelic is that it has other components uh, with that patchouli, so it has that caramel vibe, a little bit sugary in its, in its profile, very deep and ambery. Whereas if you wanna train your nose to understand the different notes, they actually, the black collection respects the notes. So whether it's the sandalwood or the vetiver, or in this case, the patchouli, you get to understand how this how the note is, or, or how the, the, what the fragrance note is in a particular fragrance. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop for a second. But you get, you get the gist. Patchouli and OZB, bada bing, amazing. And 25 minutes, my camera's gonna end soon. So gonna, dude, you only get 28, my brother. I need to show you this, Vanille de Tahite. It is, this is a new release and it is, I cannot get enough, I've become addicted to this thing. It, it was, it's almost like there's, I don't know, some, some kind of narcotic something in here. I cannot stop wearing it. I normally don't wear the same fragrance over two days or three days. I've been wearing this, like I wore it on Saturday, then I wore it again on Sunday and I came into the office Monday morning, I thought just a little spray, you know. This, this is the extract version, and again, within the Paris Monte Carlo range, you can go, this, this, one, this one does cost a little bit more, but again, for those uh, semi-pros, veterans, you know, etc., you can now begin to explore deeper within the Paris Monte Carlo range. The extract versions that they have, extrait, is amazing. Extrait de parfum, parfum, parfum. <laughs> I'm practicing my French, terrible. Parfum, parfum. All right, let me, let me move on. Um, the last two, the last two that I wanna put forward to you is, and this is where I actually started. So those three that I just shared with you, if I had a time machine, I'd go back and I would start there. I would start with these ones here because um, one, from a price point of view, they're so accessible. Two, from uh, the collection point of view, it's massive, there's something for everybody. So it's a great place, but where I did start was over here, cost me a lot more money, good collection, and, but now this is now you're moving into, going from that new recruit into that semi-pro. So let me begin, I'll begin with the MFK. So I do love all things Maison Francis Cujon. I love, love, love this house. I, I've got, I think just about all of their fragrances. Um, uh, the three that I wanna put forward, I'm gonna move through a little bit faster. The first one I started off with, Gentle Fluidity Silver Edition, which is a little bit more masculine leaning. There is a Gold Edition, which is feminine leaning. The thing that blows my brain is that it's all, all the ingredients in silver and gold are the same, but Francis has constructed them in such a particular way that there is um, a more vanilla tone for the female and more of a aromatic, uh, woody tone for the masculine, but same notes. Uh, I just, it's it, it just incredible, absolutely incredible. But, but the the idea behind the silver and gold in the gentle fluidity is that they're a silhouette of each other, and so they balance. Phone is ringing. I'm going to tell him I can't. I'm doing the matter talk. Um, the other one that I would recommend to you is Grand Soir. I know I did mention that Amber Amber Premier is a good option. It is 100%. Thing is that these now cost you a lot more. So Grand Soir, I think I bought it. I can't remember, I'll put a price here, but it's a lot more expensive. It's a different fragrance. It dries down differently. I found that the longevity on this is also pretty spectacular. Big fan of this. The reason why I love this one so much, it does have a companion, which is Petit Matin. And the idea is that you wear Petit Matin in the morning, Grand Soir of an evening, and the two fragrances, because they have, uh, Petit Matin has an amber in the base, which is amplified by Grand, grand Soir of an evening. But again, gorgeous fragrances. These are 70 mil, so you, you not, the, the bang for your buck is obviously bigger on the Javois than they are on this guy. The last one, doesn't get a lot of airplay, and this is Aqua Universalis, because I've got all the Aquas. Uh, Aqua Universalis Forte. I love the Forte range. I haven't delved with the Colognes or the other ones, Find that the longevity on these are really, really good. What I love about this guy here is it's 
So again, these are all masculine and feminine. So don't, don't feel like this is just for the, <laughs> my camera's like, you know, 28 minutes, we're done, buddy. Uh, okay, so just nearly, nearly wrapped up here. Uh, Aqua Universalis, as I mentioned, the thing about this is that it has, it's a beautiful play on orange blossom, jasmine, these white florals, but blended with some citrus notes. <sighs> this is magic. For me, this is, this is summertime. This is summertime happiness, joy, a woman could wear this. It wears well on a man, in my opinion. I mean, I love wearing this. Uh, Sandra wears this, my wife. So again, the, 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 any of these, comfortable, masculine, feminine. Some of them have more florals accentuated, which I know a lot of women like that. And in some of them, they have more uh, woods and you know, sort of the more aromatic component, which I know some men like to wear. Boom, last thing, okay, here we go. These are the Penhaligons, and this is what, I jumped in early on this guy, uh, on Penhaligon as a brand, I've got a lot of their bottles, because I fell in love with these cute little bow ties, and on my shelf, as I said, and I apologize, you know, I, I see something like this, which is incredible fragrance, beautiful and divine, but the bottles all look the same, and so, you know, I'm a little bit shallow, <laughs> and I wanted something more bougie on my shelf. Uh, so the great thing about Penhaligon is that they do have various price points. So uh, I think some of the earlier uh, Penhaligons that they have range from about 250, uh, 360, 400, 445. So you can actually play within the entire Penhaligon range comfortably as a brand new recruit all the way into like a, you know, um, I, I don't think that they don't really, in my opinion, they're not five star general kind of fragrances. Uh, for, if anything, these are more, new recruits and semi-pros, um, I would recommend something else if you are now moving as a, um, as a veteran into a, into a five-star general. I started here, so this is Halfetti. I do love Halfetti for, so before I mentioned that Harmattan is a dusty floral, I find that this one here does it really well when it comes to uh, this, this dusty rose, with some cedarwood components. There is a slight sort of birch tar, um, leathery tone to it. This fragrance is amazing. On skin, it's just divine. So I know that they've come out with some flankers, which is the leather, which I have, so Halfetti leather, also Halfetti cedar. Both are great, but I love the original. I really love um, anything. This guy here, Halfetti, is gorgeous. The other one that I really love and I'm wearing today is, so you can start, you can, you know, play around and with the bow ties, they look really great on your shelf. Uh, but then there is the portrait collection. And again, I love all the characters. And so I've got, <laughs> I love seeing all my characters lined up on the shelf. This one is Terrible Teddy. Terrible Teddy is amazing. Wearing this today, just as a masculine fragrance, just amazing and divine. This, in fact, is my three-year-old grandson's signature scent. Every time I smell that boy, he's always wearing Terrible Teddy. Uh, so, yeah, start them young. That's the important part. <laughs> I'd recommend this one here. This is a lot more expensive, $445, so you are paying a lot more. I think the bottle is about 70 mils or 100 mils. I, feel, I find that the longevity on all the Penhaligons is really robust. The last one that I'd like to put forward is the new one. Legacy of Petra, I picked this up in Paris. Have a look at this video if you've missed it. Oh man, this fragrance, this takes me instantly to Paris. It has this wonderful licorice caramel component to it. It's slightly um, sort of that, uh, that herbal uh, fennel sort of component to it. Just gorgeous caramel, ambery. Oh my gosh, this, I mean, this is, it, I, I, this one here, is a showstopper. So I, I would say that for those who are semi-pros into veterans, check out this. You would, you'll just fall in love. Boom, my gosh, that was it. All right, so that was a long, I apologize. I'm sorry if it's too long. I chapter mark everything, I'm telling it's a little bit too late, but if you've made it this far, then <laughs> you're okay. Um, but thank you everyone, appreciate it, 20,000. That's a, an awesome milestone. I'm so I'm um, I'm so appreciative and grateful for your support. Put down what you would like um, to hear about next week. All those who would like to then add their comments on any of these uh, or in um, any of the houses that you would recommend, make sure you put that in the comments. I'm going to end because I'm rambling now. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>